QBuilder emulates a lighting console in a theater. You are looking at a virtual lighting console and a dark stage. There are 47 different channels that you can control on the light board. Begin by selecting a channel. Now click Edit Channels. This opens the editing palette. You can mix almost any color that you like over that light. Use the fader to adjust the brightness. You can put a gobo into most of the lights. You can also choose from hundreds of color filters that match real-world filters. Each filter has photometric data that shows how it affects light. If you feel like the editing palette is in your way, you can move it to one side or the other. Choose multiple channels to edit at once. You can also choose entire groups of channels. Double-clicking the screen opens the editing palette. Click Release Channels to deselect the lights. Pressing Escape closes everything and releases all channels. You can force all of the lights to black by using the Blackout button. Adjust the skin tone of your actors to best suit your ensemble. Click Stage Setting to open a palette of staging and scenery choices. When you have a cue that you like, use the Record and View Cues button. Start by recording your first cue. You can give the cue a fade time and you can enter information into it. Each new cue that you record will be added to the list. You can run your cues with timings. Ready, you can deliver your cues by email. You have the option to enter a second email address and notes. The cues arrive as an email with an attachment and a link. Either the link or the attachment will play the cues so long as you have an internet connection. And this is not everything there is to say about this lab, but it will get you going. There is a help button and everything is labeled with friendly icons. The best way to learn is to play. And that's what it was built for.